Okay. <clears throat> okay, good af no, not good afternoon, sorry. Good evening everyone. Tonight we will have another discussion about career and what's keeping you busy lately. The reason why I choose the the reason why I chose this title um, is because maybe not everybody here is already involved in some kind of work as a career. Maybe some of you are actually still a student. So that's why instead of chatting about the career, we will talk about what's keeping you busy lately. Okay. And this is actually the most proper way of asking people about their job. Uh, especially in 2020, in 2021, there were so many layoffs. So not everybody have a stable job or career. So instead of asking, uh, like something, where do you work? What do you do? And something like that. We just is oh, what's keeping you busy lately? So hopefully this can be a a little fun fact behind the title this evening. Okay, well, without further ado, I ask Debbie, who's already uh, <laughs> opened her yeah. microphone to share with us about what's keeping you busy lately. Okay, Debbie, you can share with us about your career, your study, and whatever it is in between. Okay. So actually, I has just finished my final exam and also at this test. So I think um, I'm with uh, recently, I'm busy because I've been studying, you know, a lot. And yeah, that's what keeping me busy, you know, like uh, studying grammar, vocab, like right, like right now actually really helps me uh, in English test in Aptis. Uh, but <laughs> I haven't got the chance to join an English day because of um, my tight schedule so i really looking forward for this session and yeah i think that's what keeping me busy study and also i'm doing my job as a community manager in you know in this <laughs> in this community uh and in jedi so uh i am an intern also also a student, so I think that's my usual activities recently. But now I'm in a holiday week, so I'm quite free for the uh, for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> that's all I think, Colin. Oh, nice. You so you will have so much free time for couple yeah. weeks. That's right. I mean, not studying, but still working as a yeah. part timer or intern for the yes. guy and this Discord community. Yes. Okay. It's well, fun. I hope you have a really good time to prepare your Aptis test, and I hope the result is also satisfying you. Okay. Do you have any other thing to say? Maybe. Oh, can I maybe choose someone? Okay, don't choose Juliana Johnson because okay. they are still Not working that. out and the other is still having their dinner. So you okay. Can pick dinner. I want to pick Kamonika mm. because I, I just, I think I just see her, um, I'm not, 
usually I don't I don't see user called uh, username Monica. So I think Monica is new here. Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. Oh, yes. Okay, Monica. <laughs> Keluar. Oh, no, maybe maybe she's having. Well, let's wait for her. Maybe anyone, okay. anyone else? I okay, I, I choose Ka, Ka Indah deh. Okay, Ka Indah. Indah, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. We can hear you clearly. Okay. Um, how are you doing, guys? What, what you have for dinner today? What did you Food. eat for dinner today? <laughs> I okay, had maybe some night. of them are still having dinner. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, what's keeping me busy recently? Um, I spend most of my time to watch uh, the contents about my idol. I stand the SM idols such as uh, Super Junior, mm. uh, EXO, and NCT Dream, especially. Um, oh, NCT Dreams. Yeah. Um, tonight will be in their sixth anniversary. So, if uh, this event uh, will. Um, last more than 9 p.m. I'm afraid I have to go at 9 p.m. to watch their live. <laughs> okay, um, other than that, um, for eight hours during business days, um, I work at a translation and localization company. Then, um, once a week, I join a Korean class, and mm. also once a week, I uh, practice my uh, French skill with a native speaker. Oh, wow. And, yeah. <laughs> During a uh, weekend, if doesn't rain i usually um, ride a bike uh mm -hmm. there is a lake near my house um mm. so i go around the lake with my bike or um run some errands for example buying something in mini market uh by bike i guess I that's all perhaps anyone would like to ask any questions or can i choose someone else uh may i ask you a question yes sure okay so you said before that you work in a translation company so what language that you usually translate every day mm. um so i'm basically not the translator uh, mm -hmm. the company can handle a lot of language pairs so in the translation and localization industry we called the what is it the language for example, if you would like to translate from Indonesian to English, uh, mm -hmm. the phrase of Indonesian to English is called language pairs. So mm -hmm. we can handle uh, various language pairs, mostly the English to Asian languages. Uh, for example, English to Indonesian, English to Malay, English to Thai, English to Filipino, English to Vietnamese, and etc. and five 
vice versa uh, hmm? but the internal linguist uh, uh-huh. can only handle English to Indonesia, Indonesia to English, and English to uh, Indonesian local languages such as English to Japanese, English to uh, Sundanese, and English to Betawi. Ah, yeah. very interesting. Very interesting. Um, uh, for me, I. <laughs> Can hand uh, for me myself. I can translate English to Indonesia and vice versa, and English to Japanese only, not the vice versa, because it is difficult to translate Japanese to English and uh, French into Indonesian, not the vice versa. French into Indonesian. Wow! Oh, wow! wow. It's, uh, I really appreciate. that you are still willing to learn other languages like Korean and also you still practice your friends with a native speaker to keep it sharp. Yeah, no? there is I'm, a, I'm also uh, into linguistic yeah. but I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> there is a reason behind that uh, because uh, I work in a translation and translation company. I know that uh, There are other language pairs that cost much more than English to Indonesian service. So, I for see. example, if we would like to translate uh, French to Indonesian, mm-hmm. the cost is much <clears throat> more expensive than English to Indonesian. So, I think if I would, I if I wanna survive in this industry, if uh, I want to make. Uh, more money. I need to learn other languages. That's the reason, money. <laughs> okay, okay. That uh, uh, I I also learn Mandarin, and I just realized that oh my god, when you are able to speak Mandarin, you can actually add one more digit on your base yeah, salary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> you should you should learn it more. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Indah. Okay, yeah. I'm waiting for Monica, but she hasn't back. So, do you want to pick any of our friend mm. here? There is a product. Can you turn oh, yeah. on your phone? After Hello, day. everyone. Hello. Yeah, you can call me Odit. Odit. Okay. Yeah, I'm new here, so I'm just. Uh, looking around and uh, find what a uh, fun thing to do or uh, to talk with. Uh, you can always talk to us, just pop us, you know, like, hi, Kat. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah, that I'm late to the session. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, 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 we just start like, I think 15 minutes ago, so you don't have to say sorry. We We will be happy to have you. Anytime. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, can you remind me what's the topic to talk about the uh, in the station? Okay. So our today's oh sorry our tonight's topic is what's keeping you busy in terms of studying or career or whatever daily activities that interest you a lot to do it every day. Okay. <laughs> You can start with introduction first, like, my name is Aphrodite, and blah, blah. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Aphrodite, you can call me Audit. Uh, I am working in a multinational company at now, uh, and I live alone. Uh, and then, actually, I have a husband, but uh, he's in different city, so we are doing long distance marriage right now. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, what's keeping me busy when I'm not working and not sleeping is actually uh, I have uh, so many uh, to do lists. Like I yeah. have to uh, clean the house, I have to cook, or I have to remind my husband about something like that, and then. Uh yeah, uh things like uh like uh, daily for yeah. 
yeah, like mm. uh, like ibu rumah tangga like that. Uh, but <laughs> but I'm not because I'm working full time also. Uh, but I think that since I uh, live in my own house and start new family, uh, there's so many things that I have to do. Uh, and before I uh, married and I move in this house, uh, I have not uh, think about that. Like uh, one few days ago, my uh, AC air conditioner is broken mm-hmm. and we need to uh, buy the new AC and then uh, deal with the technician, something like that, that I have never uh, know what's the the AC that uh, the best for us like that yeah <laughs> I think that being adult is make me uh, have additional uh, additional to-do list <laughs> the very, <laughs> it's very long yeah um, especially when you have your own house if you still rent you can just call land owner please fix this this is broken and so on but if it is your own house then you take full responsibility of it. So you need to actually have some plan, like financially and, you know, like AC, uh, broken AC that need replacement could cost an arm and leg if you don't prepare anything. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's the part of being adult and being a responsible Thank you, Aphrodite. Do you have anything else to share with us? Do you have any, you know, uh, in Indonesia we call it for babies, for babies, like cat, dog, hamster, anything? Oh, pet. I don't have a pet. I don't have the <laughs> talent. Uh, once uh, my mom-in-law gave me a sunflower, but uh, I think just a few days the sunflower died. <laughs> So, okay. I cannot keeping uh, any creature uh, beside myself right now. Interesting. By the way, in which city are you staying now? Oh yes, uh, I forgot to say that I live in Jakarta. Uh, East Jakarta hmm. actually, near Cibubur. Okay. Yeah, well. if any of you uh, live... Uh, around me within uh, 10 or 20 kilometers uh, just say hi uh, maybe we can meet someday okay that's nice maybe any one of you who stay in East Jakarta can contact Audit to have a I don't know, coffee offer some cats and yeah that will coffee. be nice Okay. And you work in East Jakarta? Your office? Uh, my office in South Jakarta, in Kuningan. Oh, SCBD. Uh, Semanggi, around SCBD. Yeah. Oh. So, That's uh, nice. We really love that area. Maybe someday we can have lunch together in that Padang restaurant, Bopet. You know, that's yummy. Uh, uh, do you live or walk around there? I, I live <laughs> in I West Jakarta, but not far hmm. from Semanggi. So. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, just sleepy. Sleepy is not far from Senayan. Senayan is not far from Semanggi. So. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I know, I know. <laughs> yep. Okay, thank you, Audit. Now, Monica has return to the green table so let me ask monica first about what activity that keep her busy lately monica yes Maula, you can go. Here. come back uh, um actually i'm not really sure what to what to share here um, well it's about your career or about the thing that you yeah. learn the thing that you love to do Maybe watching some, um, you know, movies or drama or having some for babies or volunteering mm. in some places. You can share any of that Actually, with what, us. What's keeping me busy lately is um, 
being here in this forum. Like I'm joining certain stuff here. Yesterday mm -hmm. we were having uh, what to say uh, interactive communication with pets. Oh yeah, animal yeah. communicator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, animal communicators. I was joining that. And what else? Uh, I'm recently moving to my my place mm -hmm. uh, in BSD. Before that, I was living with my um, father, with my dad. So this is uh, really me having my own time in my own room, my <laughs> own space, and is 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 really great because finally I can be independent and yeah, like, like controlling all my own stuff here. And what else? I'm now is busy with my work also mm -hmm. uh, because I'm working in finance, finance oh, division. Okay. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, we are busy with um, the budgeting because mm -hmm. normally the budgeting for mm -hmm. um, for next year is um, need to be done around August. November. Okay, yeah. In three months, I guess, right? Sorry, Mbulan? In three months, you need to do the budgeting for the next three months. Right. Yeah, that's all, I think. Okay, Monica. Congratulations for moving <laughs> to your own place. It is liberating, yeah. but at same time, you have new responsibilities to do, like paying for the bill, right? Get ready when things are not going, or based on your expectation, like broken AC, like mm -hmm. what happened to, um, Aphrodite. So yeah, it is nice, but you still need to, you know, take your own responsibilities. But I think being adult is. I mean, that is the part of being adult. Both okay. freedom and responsibilities comes together. <laughs> we are, okay, we Monica. We to face this, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm. So, to all of you who have to do so many things while growing up as an adult, well, just brace yourself. You know, winter is coming. You know, that that's what <laughs> the Game of Thrones kind of thing. Oh no, not Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, Game of Thrones. Thank you, Monica. Let's. Uh, do you want to pick any of the name that mm -hmm. interests your? You know, like spark your interest. Sorry. We just joined, yeah. I'm not really seeing one by one. Um, Inda? Inda already spoken, so let me choose for you. I will pick Juliana. Juliana, okay. winter is coming. Being adult means winter is coming, so you need to brace yourself. Let's <laughs> hear from Juliana. What's keeping her busy lately? Oh, good evening, everyone. Uh... What's keeping me busy? So, uh, last week I just got uh go have Korean course mm -hmm. for like two hours at Saturday, and it will be like uh six months course. So mm -hmm. I have been busy learning Korean all over again and every single day. Uh, not really every single day, but uh, yeah, still reviewing again because it's mm -hmm. beginner course as well. And my brother is uh, starting his first new job, so I have been busy like preparing him for a new job and and uh, finding Costco sun for him, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Big sister duty. Yep. 
and uh, I was also busy working as well, like usual. Also, I think uh, I have been reading again, reading books again after mm -hmm. vacuuming for a while because I was so bored. <laughs> I'm playing games. Are you really is keeping me busy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those who are still new to this Kelurahan Sukamaju Discord channel, uh, on Taman Bermain or Playground, we have some game and you can play together. There are Store to Ellie, Mobile Legend, Genshin Impact. You can invite anyone who are interested to join the game with you and for some weeks, every night, there is always somebody play Mobile Legend or Stardew Valley. So, for you who really love to play any game, you are welcome to join those gamers down, down in Playground or Taman Bermain channel. You can scroll down and see on the bottom. After Sanggar Hobi dan virtual kelurahan suka maju at Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that all? Yep, yes, it is all. And I choose move it as always. <laughs> move it. Oh. He doesn't want. He said, don't choose me. Okay. Okay, maybe I can. I can ask Virago. Hi, Virago. How are uh, you? Uh, um, I'm good. <laughs> is it? Is it my? Is it my turn? <laughs> yes. Okay, Our good. topic is what's keeping you busy lately, so you can share with us. Okay, good. Good evening, everyone. Um, I don't really know what to say about what keeping me busy because I think my life is a perfect example for no life. Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just working, sleeping, and then do that again and again and again. But yeah, uh, I have cats. Yeah, a few cats. Mm -hmm. They always keeping me busy for some quite some time every day. Uh, um, I think yeah, because I don't really go out except for except for work because I don't really like to meet people. Yeah, I'm an introvert in a nutshell, I guess. So yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, but there's the things. Uh, if what I do when I'm alone, I actually I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anyone do this, but I talk to myself a lot. She gets me, so yeah. It's not, I don't. I don't really watch anything. Mm, I play some games, but not really, not really into it. So just like playing when when I'm bored or when. I'm having... You can join everyone here with Stardew Valley <laughs> or Mobile Legend with Mufit. I'm actually have. Uh, I actually have a Mobile Legend account, but I don't really push. Uh, like the rank. I actually, I actually play Magic Chess more than the, you know, the rank one because, because when I play along, it's kind of boring and it's kind of hard to like you know to find someone that can help you push the rank because it just in a nutshell, it's so hard to find a good player and a good people who understand how you play something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. It's okay. I play classic more than ring. <laughs> oh really? Oh really? Oh maybe maybe move it can help me with that. Yeah, he said feel free to invite me when you play MC. Uh, I see, see. But 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 I'm not I'm not good so <laughs> so I don't I don't have the confidence to invite Move It because you know, maybe Move It is a lot better than me, right, Move It? <laughs> we play for fun, not for 
comforting each other. So <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. If oh, if okay. they are like much more higher rank than you, you can just ask them, hey, well, just, you know, cut me some slack or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Can you join but... to the Genshin? Yeah. Genshin. Yes. Wait. Yeah. Uh, after the event, if you don't have anything else to do, you can just invite each other and play game together. But after the events, thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> do you have anything else to share with us, Virago? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really have anything to share. Just, just a sad story. But I don't want to make people sad. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, okay. you can share your sad story to some people that you already trust here. And if you feel like you need to find something out, just text anyone here. Like, hey, I want to share in Media heart or something. There will be, you know, some kind soul to help you listen to anything if you ever ask for a listener or maybe advice from anyone. Oh, thank don't worry. you. <laughs> no, seriously. That's, that's what happened to me back then as well. So, this place is like my uh, trash bin for all of my emotional damage. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we can be emotional. We have this emotional damage together, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, no, we heal each other. That's why we grow. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yes, Juliana, she is a good listener. Very recommended. So you can always pick or poke Juliana whenever you want. <laughs> Someone to share. Okay. Now I would ask Yimei, Yime, lately what happened to you? What's keeping you busy? Hi, Kak Wulan. Hi, Yime. Yeah, as usual, doing my business. Because How's the business? Already wedding season. Oh, nice. Wedding season is so complicated. People who plan their engagement, they are order my cookie with a special and unique custom and the budget is very low. <laughs> so it was makes me busy and dizzy. You can actually mark it up first before selling out. Oh, so yeah, when they yeah. are actually asking for a low, it's already cover everything, you know? Marking up is always a good way yeah, <laughs> for yeah. business. Yeah. <laughs> Already done it. But, uh, and the mooncake season is also coming, right? When I sell mooncake, I have partnership actually with mooncake, famous mooncake in Surabaya. So, yeah, that's all make me busy. Okay, that's about One your life. business life. How about the private life? What? But you are oh, always too lately. I always do my work up, my weightlifting work up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know weightlifting work up? Um, of course, cooking, eating, <laughs> influence. Uh, influence everybody so, here. <laughs> yeah, influence everybody here to. Okay, let's do some work up, guys. Let's do exercise. Let's be healthy together. And yep. let's eat together. Yep. <laughs> so whenever you feel like you need more motivation to eat or to do your workout, you can always poke him in. Ask her anything. Literally, ask her anything. She has answer for every problem you have. If you ask for some recipe of cookies, she'll also have it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be happy sharing all my recipe with you guys. It's free. If you need 
something like uh, I really want to make a brownies, a donut, a bread, um, everything basically. I have the recipe, yeah. and I can help you guys. And then the recipe is still in that kind of handwritten paper. Like it's not even uh, like yeah. digital, digitalized. <laughs> <laughs> recipe from my grandma from Yime grandma <laughs> yeah legend yes I will uh, what what you call it I will give it to my children and grandchildren you should preserve it like in the box treasure box yeah yeah and for you guys who still have your grandma, your mom, you should ask them for uh, their cook recipe. It's uh, what you call it? Uh, like uh, heritage, yes. Her yeah. Legacy or, or heritage. Legacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Yimi. Okay, I will pick for you because I'm the one who knows no, 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 no. Who's already wait, speaking. Wait, wait. And... Actually, actually, okay. you are not telling what are you, what makes you keep busy lately. Me. Yeah, you. Okay, okay. I. <laughs> okay, I can tell that now. A housewife. I'm busy with the household activities like cleaning and laundry, many things. Uh, my husband recently takes sabbatical from his office because he has a, how you call it, mental breakdown or that kind of depression. So, but now he is much better after 10 days not working. He is much lighter. He becomes a goofy husband that I I really love, you know. <laughs> um, my son has just finished his school orientation, and right now he is planning for his study, which I think will start on twenty nine August. So my son is in the college right now. He's starting the college. He's like 18 years old. Other thing that I'm doing, at, uh, other than helping my son with the things, uh, school-related things, I'm trying to reorganize my table, my study table, so I could be more focused on doing what, I love to do, which is reading, learning, writing, etc. But lately, I just realized that I cannot write really long, like before, because I have this pin and needles, or in Japanese or Indonesian, you call it kesemutan. So every time I write like one page, I have all of these pin and needles attacking my palm and finger. So I have to uh, shake my hands, finger, and palm, and I'm trying to find exercise so I could minimize the pain. And for me, it is a wake up call that I need to start paying more attention to my health and paying. I mean, like nurture back to health is not an easy thing. You can be sleep while you do your stuff. Um, health related like eating mindlessly and so on but then you get this symptom on your body telling that oh yeah you should stop eating too much carb you should stop eating too much sugar you should be mindful while eating you should exercise etc so I'm trying to be more mindful focus on my health and taking care of myself so I can do things that I love 
And like you me, I also love eating. So time to time, I still want to enjoy the food that I really love, Indonesian food. But for that, I need to also uh, sacrifice for some time, like top carbs for a week or maybe like, I don't know, intermittent fasting more often. Hopefully, I can get my health back and I can write again. I mean, I love writing with my hand. So I can continue to do the things that I love. Yep. You can mention me for doing exercise, but my exercise is only like swimming or heat or yoga. It's so boring. I'm I'm not doing any weightlifting yet because I still need to, I think, lose some weight, like with deficit calorie or maybe intermittent fasting. But yeah, maybe after that, I will start sculpting my body as if I could do it. But, you know, let's just manifest that I will go there someday. Thank you. That is my story. Okay, I think... We have Hiel and Felicia Iskandar. We can start with Hiel. Hiel, how are you? How have you been lately? And what's keeping you busy lately? You can open mic, Hiel. Oh, yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> it's been such a long time not talking here and not coming here. Uh, mm -hmm. I just remember that the last time I was joining with you guys, like the last time when I doing the church session and church session with you guys related to my relationship after the pro time. I don't know, maybe some of the people here also join. I always remember there is Piraku there. And <laughs> the other, uh, I kind of forget. But yeah, it's been one month, I guess. Uh, actually, I just mm -hmm. come back to my house because I just got sick. Actually, I'm just, I was working, so I was working on a site like that. Um, I was like so, so an engineer, and then I'm working on site every day for about like 12 hours a day, or more than that, sometimes oh, wow. only three <laughs> only three hours sleeping. <laughs> and oh, the bad no. thing is this, yeah, the bad thing was last time in, in my last site is there's no, there was almost no signal, like for real no signal, so I have no life, I can say that. But yeah, luckily I I met some fur baby there. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. at least uh, they can be my hill things there because of the my opportunities there. I mean my work. Um, but yeah, sad, sadly I have to go back earlier before the job is finished because my Kurt was coming up. You know, Kurt. I have a yeah Kurt like mah yang akut banget since twenty nineteen. And it made me, I can't, I couldn't walk properly. You know, like when you want to walk, but you have to, you want to like push your, what is the, the English of Uluhati, you know, it's really hurt. And then you can work straight. Jadi harus bungkuk gitu, terus-terusan. So at the time, my seniors like, okay, you have to go home right now and just go to the doctor, go to your, go to the hospital, check, check up on yourself. Yeah. And yeah, here I am. <laughs> I'm going home earlier than anyone there. So what keeping me busy right now is um actually I'm taking care of myself. <laughs> uh you know, like uh, if anyone here have ever been like um having curd or mah, but I mean gastritic akut gitu ya. Um you have to like really control of your mind. It's about the stress. And then about the food, of course, and about the lifestyle. And yeah, here I am also trying to control of that. But uh, several times I was going to the doctor because of this thing. The curse is because of the stress. I don't know, maybe because I'm too overthinking or something. <laughs> maybe it can be trigger all of the things that come up, especially about the curse itself. But I was enjoying my time here. Uh, actually, I already 
I already come back from the field since one week. But yeah, I several times I really want to join this Discord. I mean, several times I, I was seeing the schedule. Like every night there is something coming up, new one. But then, yeah, my card is coming up. Like right now still, my stomach's really hard. And tomorrow, maybe I will go to the hospital to the, to seek the doctor and doing the USG. Yeah, for my stomach. Yeah, because it's, I don't know, it's like, uh, it's, uh, it's abnormal. Like, you know, it's, it's a gitu ya. It's real bega, tapi I don't know what, what makes it bega. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because of the gastritic gas, but not really. Because sometimes I can feel the gastritic gas, but right now I don't think so. So that's why I just do, okay, tomorrow I have to go to the doctor to do the USG. Yeah, hopefully all is, uh, all is well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It's just trying my luck. But yeah, I also spending the other thing that keeping me busy at home is, actually I don't have a fur baby, but I have my neighborhood fur baby. They are always coming to my house like every day right now he also sleeping here oh, <laughs> they really like sleeping right. to my house yeah I, I i don't know maybe they don't feel like their home is their home <laughs> because they always go here and then sleep here eat here treeing everything and even sometimes when i work they also accompany me to work i mean i'm i'm sitting in my on my chair and then they also i i also put like any chair beside me and then they sit there or sleep there while I was working. It's really cute. <laughs> and I was just like putting them to sleep just like five minutes ago. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I guess for me. And have a nice day, everyone. And please um, stay safe too. You know, the monkey box right now is really... It's coming up in Indonesia, and the COVID cases are also rising up. I have uh, some friends that never had COVID since 2020, but then right now they had it. I mean, it's a little bit too late, but yeah, they're still here, so be safe. And take care of yourself, guys. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Take care of yourself, too. We hope that tomorrow result with the USG and the doctor checkup will be all fine. We pray for your health as well here. Mm, thanks a lot. Okay, now we have Dea. Dea is in Canada and she's really joining us, but tonight she is. Uh, let's welcome Dea. Dea was keeping you busy lately. We miss you a lot, actually. You can tell from the last three months. Okay, we will listen. No, no, no. Hang on, let me move into a different room first. <laughs> okay. Waiting for Dea to move some other places. And there is still Mufit who will talk after the crack off. And then we got Feli and Devon who hasn't talked yet. Debbie's back. Hi, Debbie. Where are you from? Apa, apa? I don't know. I was just asking where you were from. Okay, Dea is here. Let's listen to Dea. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Bye. Good okay. morning, Dea. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. here. Finally, I wake up early enough to join um, one of your Discord sessions. Because it's usually, it always happens at like my 5 a.m. or my 6 a.m. So I have to wake up at the ungodly hours of the morning just to join. <laughs> but I'm glad I finally did today. Adia, sorry, can you, uh, like, your voice kind of too close to the microphone or... Oh, how is it now? Okay, okay. Now it is much better and clearer. It's better? Okay. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I was just saying, 
I was just saying it is so difficult to join um, Discord sessions if you are in Canada, because it always happens at my 6 a.m. or 5 a.m., <laughs> which is your um, 7 p.m. in Jakarta, I think. Yeah, how how is everybody doing? We're all fine. Thank you. Thank you. How about you, dear? Doing good. Um, sleepy. <laughs> I'm a bit tired because it's only six a.m. But everything else is good. It's warm here because it's the summer. Um, I have work later at ten, but it's still in like four hours, so I have I have a lot of time to chat around. So how's your work lately or what the activity that capture your interest lately that you have been doing? I've been both working but also looking for jobs because the job that I have right now is, is part-time. Um, but I recently graduated, so I can work full-time now. So that's what mm -hmm. I've been Keeping myself busy with um, mm -hmm. mostly job applications. I've gotten nothing so far, but I'm trying to remain optimistic. I can do this. I live in a small city, so it's not, uh, we don't really have that many um, opportunities if you compare it to a big city. Like Jakarta has 10 million people. Um, my city only has 90,000. Imagine that. <laughs> it's so small compared to Jakarta. <laughs> but, okay. But in Canada's standards, um, this is a growing city. And if the competition is fierce there, or just, yeah, maybe not everybody is looking for a new employer, new employee right now. Yeah, new, um, if you're in a small city, the competition isn't that bad um, because it's a small city. But if you're in a big city, I'm guessing it's a lot more competitive there. The Prime Minister in Handsome, I just saw what Kainda said in the chat. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we both use English and French in um, Canada, although my part of Canada only use English, mostly. But... Um, in the eastern side of Canada, you do use French usually as a main language. So you'll see street signs and everything in French. And also in Canada, fun fact, um, the food packaging needs to come in both languages by law. So if anything, like we have Indomie here and the Indomie is in both English and French, <laughs> which is really cool because you're required by law to translate your ingredients list and everything else if you sell food here um, to French. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't go there because there are a lot of job translation jobs because of the country requirements to um, have bilingual official documents. Yeah. So there will be a lot of translation jobs. <laughs> do you do translation for work? I work at a translation company, but I'm not the translator. But yes, I can. Um, I'm still accepting uh, some freelance jobs. Oh, cool! From English yeah. to French, or um, English to Indonesian and French to Indonesian. Oh, that is cool! I cannot even speak French. <laughs> I would love to learn them. You should. Friends in Canada has different accent um, than friends in French countries. So. Um, 
I don't know much about uh, Parana Ekaran because I'm Inna, your voice is like really far and unclear. So I don't know if it is your microphone or your internet connection. But from what I catch is uh, French, Canadian speak French much better than French, French. Is it? I heard that too, that the okay, accent okay. is very different. Between okay. French, yeah. French and French Canadian. Oh, that's better now, in the Yeah, uh, and I mean uh, French in France uh, country is not better than Canadian, but uh, French Canadian has different accent and some different vocabularies as well. Uh, then, uh, friends in France country. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. I don't speak French, so I don't know how true that is. Um, but my boyfriend speaks French. Um, but he's Canadian French. Obviously, he's Canadian. Um, so I don't know if you compare it to French French, what that would like. My only reference is just him whenever he speaks French. Are you interested in learning French studio? Maybe someday, of now? One day, yes. Uh, probably not now. I don't know if I'll have the, the time to dedicate it now. Because the good thing is my boyfriend speaks French. So when you learn a new language, it's a lot easier when you immerse yourself in it. So you speak the language on a daily basis. Um, you I speak agree. to people who speak mm -hmm. the language. Yeah, so if I do learn French, it will be good because I have him at home to practice it with. Um, I know we will also, if anybody's interested in becoming a permanent resident in Canada, um, be, be French also helps. Yep, 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 yep. That's all you want to share with us, Dea, or do you still have anything else? Like, I think that's about it. Learning anything. I'm or learning... watching some Korean drama or any oh. good movie with your boyfriend. I would love to hear anybody's suggestions on what to watch nowadays because I don't have anything to watch. I just literally just graduated, still very confused with all this free time that I suddenly have because usually I'm so busy all the time, but now I have a lot of free time. So if anybody has any Netflix suggestions, let me know. Yeah. Everyone, just write on Meja Hijo uh, chat <laughs> about the English. Okay, I start for mute shell. And now we have Felicia Iskandar, our last last girl standing. No, <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> what's keeping you busy other than working? Mm. Actually, I'm trying to slow down because I just tested positive COVID. So, um, other than working, I'm just online here in Discord, uh, playing games with uh, others, uh, Kak Juliana, Mufit, and others uh, playing Stardew Valley. So. Okay. <laughs> I cannot say that I'm busy these two weeks because I'm trying to slow down. So I hope I can back to normal again, maybe around next week. Okay, so we wish you a really good recovery, Feli, so you can, you know, be active. And getting outside, meeting us again. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think Mufit will only speak when the crack is off. So thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Uh, don't go away because we always have this after event, after party, where you can talk about any topics other than our main topics here. 
or you can ask anyone if you have some uh, interest towards what they do or anything. Okay, but I will end the session for English Day, what's keeping you busy lately. And I really appreciate any of you who have shared with us tonight. So hopefully we can continue this event next week. And I really hope that you will be coming back and join us again. So let me turn off the recording and end this session, but don't go anywhere. Yeah, thank you too. Okay.